Aloha. And welcome. My name is Master Paul, and I'm honored to be with you here today on today's live stream. It is winter solstice. Today is the first day of winter in the Northern Hemisphere, <clears throat> and it is the first day of summer in the Southern Hemisphere. So I guess it depends on where you live. Uh, in, the, in the Northern Hemisphere, it is the day where we start returning to the light. In other words, it's been darker and darker and darker and darker and darker, and now we start returning to the light. Now in the Southern Hemisphere, it's in reverse. It's been the lightest for the longest amount of days. Nine o'clock at night, it's still light. However, they're starting to move towards the darker uh, aspects, and that has to do with the way the globe turns. So it's been a very interesting year. I noticed in the last four or five years, for me personally, that um, my emotions, my, uh, my mentality, my um, uh, uh, monkey mind, all of the little blockages that can occur and do often occur in our life as we learn to purify, they tend to be a bit heavier for me as I get closer to the last day of the uh, fall. And so I've always looked forward to today, the 21st, because now we move into the movement towards the light for those of us that are on the Northern Hemisphere. So for me, it's a great experience. I'm excited because I can literally feel a shift in my energy. And also, <clears throat> although I don't announce it on Facebook or anywhere else, I hide the actual date. Um, my birthday's not too far away from now. And so um, it's, you know, it tends to be a powerful shift for, the, for me as I move into the new year. And typically speaking, uh, astrologically speaking, approximately eight weeks after the birthday is when the, the most power occurs for an individual and the most shift occurs. So I'm looking forward to that as well. <clears throat> so we've got quite a few people jumping in today. Today is day three of the f uh, five days of healing ourself through serving others. And I've been getting a lot of uh, wonderful feedback both during the live stream and shortly thereafter <clears throat> um, as a result of this service that we're doing for others. Some people have been saying that they, they feel a significant difference after this, that they feel lighter and more relaxed, that whatever condition they were working on is no longer gripping them so much so. Others have commented that while they're doing the practice, they've had third eye images that were quite shocking. One person was talking about her, um, she would requested to serve others for the condition of back pain. That is her major issue. And she said at some point she saw an image where an old man who was leaning over, walking with a cane, dropped the cane, stood up straight and started walking straight. And she said she was just amazed that this image entered her mind. She wasn't sure if it was a third eye image or what it was that she was seeing. And it was definitely a third eye image. She had just not seen too many of them. And this is heaven's way of telling her that your service is having an important and dramatic impact for others. So when we chant to serve others, when we do forgiveness practice, when we serve others specifically for the conditions that we are suffering from, how is it that we benefit? Do you know? Do you understand why? We're going to learn a little bit more about that today. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to acknowledge first all those who have, have joined us. Welcome Jota and Teresa Brown Ford. Welcome Ben. Welcome uh, Jenny. Good to see you, Cheryl. Uh, Elizabeth. Welcome CJ. And good to see you join us, Dana. And Kristen Strachan, Kristen Rojas, good to see you, Kristen. And uh, Pat, welcome, welcome. Carol Skakel. Uh, good to see you as well, Nerma, coming in from uh, the European uh, part of the world. Welcome, Johannes. Yeah, I probably look different. My hair's a little flat today, and I just wore your basic shirt. I didn't do the whole aloha thing or the nice look. I said, you know what? I'm just going to go casual today. <coughs> Welcome Anna Fana and Stephanie, Sarah MacArthur, good to see you. Welcome uh, JR. So I'm happy to have all of you here, happy that you've uh, found the opportunity in your very busy day to join. 
I know my day is always very busy. Actually, prior to coming in today, I was just cleaning up some responsibilities outside of the house. I got here and I left part of my equipment for this live stream down in the car, so I ran down to get it. <clears throat> I live in an apartment now, and so it's it's just to go to the car, it's an extra 10 minutes out of your life because you got to go down the elevator, over to the parking garage, up the elevator. So a uh, little bit of shift in the... In the uh, uh, practicalities as I move into an apartment. So welcome Pamela. So thank you all for sharing this video, letting other people know about it. Truly appreciate that. Let's go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, and start aligning our, our soul hearts, minds and bodies to this very special day. <clears throat> um, there is a significance to winter solstice. Honestly, I don't know what it is. So I'm going to do a flow on that and we're going to find out together. Okay. Let us place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, which is a mudra, a, a body posture in which we are connecting to heaven. So the left hand drops in front of the heart center, the right hand remains pointed gently towards heaven. We close our eyes, bring your thoughts, your mind, your breath into your lower abdomen. Take a deep breath in and release the day. If it's the beginning of your day, take a deep breath in and allow the love in for the blessings that you are about to receive. Dear all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of the source, dear original creator, dear all beings serving the plan of the light side, our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints, there are archangels, healing angels, masters and ascended masters, there are lamas, sifus, gurus, saints, kahunas, all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, dear Jesus and Mother Mary, dear all heaven's animals, dear all the holy beings that have been brought to earth to serve humanity at this time. We love you, we honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. We ask for your presence at this time in whatever way is most appropriate. We ask that you please come to sit in each of our message centers. Bless us to open our heart and soul. Guide us to where we learn to be of service to others and comprehend the deeper wisdoms regarding our suffering and by serving others how our suffering could be dramatically diminished. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, we love you, we honor you, respect you. We invite you to turn on we invite you to turn on in every soul in our body, and we invite all souls to chant with us love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> and as we chant this one or two times uh, to, to gather our hearts and souls together, really, really, really connect to the divine, because the divine is present. Let us begin. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling. Wo ai tren ren le. Wong li hing rung er mu shi sheng. Xiong ai ping on a xie. Xiong ai ping on a xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. 
ลือลาลีลือลาโอไอโอเชนเอร์ลิงโอไอทรานรันเลยวังลีรุงเฮอร์มูเชอร์ชงสวงไอเพียงอันเสสวงไอพิงอันเสอ I love my heart and soul I love all humanity join hearts <coughs> and souls together love peace and harmony Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, welcome to those that have just joined us. Welcome, Bari. Welcome, Ivan, and welcome, Ali. Welcome, Nina. Welcome, Tawana, and um, welcome, Felix. <coughs> For those that I have not mentioned, I haven't seen your name pop up. Obviously, you're very welcome. Thank you all for sharing this uh, this live stream by hitting the share button. So as you can see, there's a new format. Alokam Anurada, Anu, Anurada, Anurada. Yeah, maybe you go by Anu. I don't know. Um, there's a new format. You can see my my ceiling over my head now, and uh, you can actually see down in my waist. This has to do with change. That's good. And um, so I'm, I'm grateful, I guess. I don't have to live in a little bitty box like Facebook used to put me in. Okay, I knew. Great, thank you. And so um, at the same time, I guess I have to be more aware of my surroundings that I set up for the live stream. So I might do a, a, a wider live stream going on in the future. Depends on positioning of myself <coughs> uh, and my uh, arena. In this case, my little screen behind me only goes three wide, so you would actually see my sofa, my TV set, my cat, and I don't want that quite yet. So today, we're focusing on how we can do self-healing by service of others. And today is also the winter solstice in the Northern Hemisphere, and it's the summer solstice in the other uh, half of the world. And so I'm going to do a soul reading on uh, both the winter solstice and the summer solstice because there are quite a few students that watch this live stream and the recordings afterwards in the southern hemisphere of this world. And for them, summer is a very important time uh, as well as for us um, in the changing. As I indicated earlier for those that just came in, for those in the northern hemisphere, we're starting to move back towards the light. For those in the summer's hemisphere, they're starting to move to less light in the course of the day. And so there's a significance on multiple levels around this. And actually, I don't know much about it. I haven't studied Wiccan. I haven't studied any of the Earth uh, philosophies regarding the solstices. So I'm going to learn something along with you when I do this flow. So we'll start with that, and then we'll move forward into some practices. Today, <coughs> uh, Namo Ami Tofu wanted to service. He came and said, I want you to chant my name so I can serve everybody. And we'll also chant uh, Jesus name to serve us, uh, to serve all those others that we wish to serve. To remind for all those that are new coming in, this is part of a, of a healing practice and process that we're focusing on this week. You should do it your entire life. And it's based on an understanding that when we have a physical suffering in our life, a relationship suffering, an emotional suffering, a financial suffering, it has a direct correlation and relationship to either our or our ancestors' spiritual debt. And so stop to take ourselves out of the picture and move to a place of selflessness then we move towards uh, uh, healing not only healing ourselves but but bringing healing to others and I will give you a, a teaching around why it works that way in just a little bit but uh, I wanted to hear what heaven had to say about the um, hemispheres first and the, the uh, solstices <clears throat> so I will now connect welcome to everybody else who's just coming in Leon. Lane, Lane, Lane.
Dear beloved divine, dear Tao, dear source, to the soul of Mother Earth, to the soul of the winter solstice, the soul of the summer solstice, the soul of the deepest and highest wisdom and teachings known and unknown around the, the purpose, value, intention, and uh, spiritual aspects of the solstices. Please come forth at this time. To the soul of the highest and best way we can be as human beings regarding the practices, uh, mantras, and um, ceremonies, if there are any, for these solstices that can best be activated at this time to, to assist us most with our soul journey. Could you also please come forth? Could you borrow my mouth? I'll offer this wisdom to all of us that are watching at this time and to myself so that we can have a deeper and greater understanding as to the power and significance of this special time of year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> How? This is the soul of the winter solstice time frame. I am both a day and an experience. My uh, brother, the summer solstice, will speak next, but I have come to share who and what my purpose is. I am a reflection of the nature of this cycle of your earth as it transits around the sun. The sun is the giver of life, to all life, known and unknown. As our beloved mother rotates in its orbit around our beloved giver of life, then there is a transition, as it is called, from darkness to light and from light to dark for the other part or southern hemisphere. But for the time of year that I am serving in the Northern Hemisphere, and equally for the time of year when I am serving as the winter solstice in the Summer Hemisphere, beginning June 21, I have a very unique service to offer. Souls also have seasons. A soul goes through many growths, and from my perspective, they carry with them the similar four seasons. It has been called North, South, East, West. It has been called many names. When I come around, it is about the subject and the awakening from hibernation. When I start to return the hemisphere to the light, it is actually a activation time in which the beginning of the wake-up cycle occurs. The previous time to my day has been about culmination, preparation, putting forth all that you wish to proceed with as you move towards the light. Many of you, if you look back on the past four to six months, will discover that you have been in a preparation culmination. You can feel that it is moving towards a time to do something. For some, the winter solstice represents cold, miserable, unpleasant time. For others, it represents opportunity. It really depends on your outlook. There are many that play in the snow and have a great time. Obviously, their outlook is a bit different. So do not allow the weather as it is to impact the opportunities of the return to the light. Use this opportunity to recognize that in the first six to eight weeks, you are hatching the egg, so to speak. And then there is a 
bearing, born of the new ideologies that had been growing the previous four to six months. And in the bringing forth in the spring time of that new birth of thought, new birth of action, then you can bring into fruition all that you had been working through the previous time. This is a simple explanation of the general overview. If you wish to put it into alignment of your soul and how your soul processes through the four seasons, it may assist you even better. For those in relationship, it is an opportunity to purify, to make anew those that have been getting old and make fresh that which there is opportunity to make fresh. Hence the reason that spring follows the winter. This is a significant time of year if you see it as such. At this time I will uh, honor the summer solstice wisdom. How? This is the soul of the summer solstice as similar to the winter I have activities in different hemispheres at different times of the year I am very young in my service I am associated with heat and outdoor activity from the human perspective but there is so much more that is occurring for me and my service to humanity. My light is brightest as I come into fruition and then it starts to very slowly shift as our beloved mother transits through her orbits. This is an aspect of urgency, an aspect of opportunity to bring to fruition all that had been worked upon as the new egg was cracked, born, and brought into birth. I am at the pinnacle when I enter the hemisphere, and over the next six months, I am the encourager of all that you had put forth. I also bring the change with the uh, advent of autumn, the opportunity to look backwards and see what has been served and what needs a bit of shift. And it is during this time that you make adjustments. You have just come out of the adjustment period, autumn to winter, and you have put yourself, so to speak, in a gentle hibernation to which to come out in six to eight weeks. I am the fire which brings forth that which you birth after the springtime. This fire can serve you to truly manifest all that you desire. This is the greater understanding of my service, and it is my great honor to offer you this wisdom at this time. I am the soul of the summer solstice. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Great wisdom, huh? I learned a lot there. It's good. Beautiful souls. They're very powerful souls. They remind me of like the souls of thunder and lightning. They're like, rah, but they're very sweet and gentle. They have a very clear purpose, should we say. So we have a few extra people join us. Welcome, Angel Heart. Welcome, Angie. Welcome, Karen Lockwood. <clears throat> Welcome, um, C. And Sharon. So great to, uh, great to have you all. You just came in when I was doing a flow on winter solstice and summer solstice because they're both serving on opposite sides of the globe uh, at different times of the year. And um, uh, today being a very special day, moving uh, towards the light again. So, <clears throat> um, as we do today's practice for self-healing, uh, Namo Amitofu came. And um, so we will be chanting a little bit of this mantra, Nama Amitofu, and the, all of the Buddha associated with Nama Amitofu will come to service. 
Jesus will also serve us here today. And we will chant uh, probably five minutes for each, and then we're going to focus on our 15 minutes of love, peace, and harmony, because we want to stay with, uh, moving towards the 21-day goal. All right? So for those that are, <coughs> um, have, are not familiar, uh, starting Monday uh, and all this week, you can initiate a 21-day challenge for yourself to transform whatever your major blockage area is. It includes uh, two forgiveness practices a day and two chantings of uh, love, peace, and harmony 15 minutes a day. And for these five days anyway, I'll be assisting you with that chanting. Also, I'm happy to be your mentor during this time. That means you can access me through Facebook um, Messenger and you can tell me whenever you're going through a little difficult time, whatever it might be, if you need a little guidance, um, then I'm happy to, to uh, stop what I'm doing and send you a quick blessing. It may be a silent blessing. It doesn't always mean I can, can literally stop what I'm doing. But the, the wonderful thing about soul healing is time and space are not relevant in its function. Uh, and so a blessing uh, can be served you at that time if you get to a, a, a pivot point. Typically, that does occur in the 21-day challenge because we're uprooting deep blockages. And it might be something where you just can't get along with mother and you'd like to solve that. It could be a major, major health blockage. And when we chant for others, we chant for the area that we have the major blockage in. Example, if you have a major issue with mom and you wish to <coughs> um, resolve that, what do we do? We chant to serve all those other out there that have major issues with their mother. They will have a reconnection. Now here's the wisdom. I didn't share this yet. The reason why this works is because we are serving countless souls. When we set the intention and we start chanting to serve all those other souls that have the same concern we have, we are absolutely, unequivocally, positively impacting their life. Their souls instantly know it. Their souls instantly are grateful. And because their soul is grateful, their soul returns to us gratitude. That gratitude is virtue. That gratitude is good karma. And that good karma goes into our virtue bank. That good karma then starts to offset our spiritual debt. And since that virtue has an association to helping mom, if that's our issue that we're chanting for, then we get virtue towards that same cause. That's the deeper underlying wisdom. We don't do it to receive. We always do it to serve unconditionally. <clears throat> so when you visualize, imagine those millions of people, because there are millions who have that relationship issue, you have that financial issue, you have that back pain, you have millions have it. Imagine them all becoming like an accordion into one row and then Squish the accordion down to one person. They all are inside that one person. And you bless with your visualization to that one soul. And they're all getting it. Okay? That way you can keep the visualization simple. So let us move forward. <clears throat> Sit up straight. And let us do a forgiveness practice together, and then I'll walk you through the uh, request, and we'll, we'll start chanting. So repeat after me. Dear all souls, dear divine, dear Tao, dear source, creator, my name is, state your name three times, I love you. I wish to humbly and sincerely apologize. <coughs> For this in all lifetimes, that I have brought any form of harm or suffering to any soul, anywhere, in all time. I know that it's very possible I have brought harm and suffering to souls. Physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. I know that it's possible I have brought suffering to souls in this way because I have suffered. I may have brought suffering to souls financially and in relationships. And I wish every soul to know that I sincerely, 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 sincerely apologize. From the bottom of my heart, I deeply regret any harm that I or my ancestors may have brought to you. 
I ask heaven that as I chant to serve others, to please bless them for the condition of, and then choose the condition that you wish most to purify. If you wish most to purify neck pain, bless your chanting for other people's neck pain. Choose that now. It could be emotional, it could be relationship, it could be anything. Choose one, stay with it. If you've already done this last couple of days, stay with the same request. Okay, I'm just clearing the blockages in my phone and the wireless. It keeps skipping and clear the blockages. It happens, the frequency gets so high, the phone starts skipping, so I gotta clear it. <clears throat> okay, Re continue to repeat. Dear beloved Namo Amitofu Buddha. Dear beloved Jesus. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. I love you, honor you, respect you, deeply appreciate you. As I chant your name, <clears throat> could you please serve the others that have this suffering? I am very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Finally, continue to repeat. Dear all souls that I have brought harm or suffering to, and state your condition for this condition. Truly, I deeply apologize. I have suffered greatly for this condition. And I know it's because I have brought harm or suffering to others for the same thing. And I know it's not okay. Please, please, please forgive me. I invite you to chant with me to serve others that we can self-clear our spiritual debt with each other. I offer you my unconditional forgiveness for any harm or suffering that you have brought to me in this or any lifetime because I know I may have brought this suffering to you first. I wish to forgive you completely. And now let us chant. We're going to start by chanting Namo Amitofu, <clears throat> visualizing golden light coming to those souls. If it's a physical area that you're requesting, see the physical area of, of those millions of souls. Remember, they're gathered into one. And bless that physical area with golden light. If it is an emotional area, finances, relationship, see the golden light in their heart center. Let us begin. <clears throat> Namo Amito Ofu Namo Amito Ofu Namo so sorry. Tofu Namo Ami Tofu Namo Ami Oh. 
silently, Dear all the souls that I have harmed for this condition, please forgive me. Please receive these blessings, this virtue. I am very grateful. Namo Ami Tofu Namo Ami Tofu Namo Ami Tofu Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus. Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus. Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus. Master Jesus, Master <coughs> Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus. Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus. Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Master Jesus. Continue to chant silently, <coughs> and I will offer you a third eye reading. At this time, in Jesus has subdivided his soul into billions 
of souls. And he is sitting in each of these souls' heart center. He is teaching these souls those wisdoms that brought about the condition that they are suffering from. And as he is sitting in our heart centers, he is moving his palms like he is teaching. But from his palms is radiant love melting the blockages for all of those that are suffering in so many ways. There are some on the line <coughs> that have requested for their memory loss conditions. And there are many that have this condition. And as his blessings radiate out, it is clearing blockages not only in the brain, but also in the organs and systems that are holding on to toxins. There is one that has requested blessings for hips and legs. And that is occurring as well as beloved Jesus shares with that soul the nature of their spiritual debt. There is another, quite a few, who requested blessings for relationships, different kinds of relationships. And these souls are receiving very special blessings that are coming from different angels and those in the spiritual realms <clears throat> that are dedicated to serve in transforming relationship blockages. They came with Jesus and are being utilized in the appropriate ways to both clear blockages, bring new messages of hope and faith, and to assist both of the souls that are being impacted. There is another who requested specifically for kidney and another for liver cancer. There is significant blessings occurring at this time for others with these conditions. There is one requested for, several requested for, conditions related to the heart and the heart center. In all of these cases, Jesus is not alone. There are countless Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, stars. There are light planets that have come. There are healing angels, archangels, heaven's generals and soldiers that have come. There are heaven's animals and they are each serving in their own special and unique way to serve the millions and billions that have lined up for this blessing from your generosity. Master Jesus, 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 Master Jesus. 
Master Jesus, Master Jesus, Mother <coughs> Mary, Mother 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 Mary, Mother. Mary, Mother, Mary, Mother, Mary, Mother, Mary, Mother, Mary. Mother Mary <clears throat> Love, peace, and harmony. Repeat after me. Dear every soul in my body, the soul of all of my organs and systems, cells and cell units, RNA and DNA, the souls of all of my energy centers, acupuncture points, the souls of all of the space in between. I love you. You have received the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. Please turn it on now and join with me to serve all of these souls with your greatest love and light for the condition of. State the condition again. And let us continue to bless others. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. I was in Erling, I tried Randley, Wong Ling Rung, Her Musher Shung, Shung I Ping on a she, Shung I Ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, la, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. 
，我爱我心儿灵，我爱传染泪，望灵荣耳目失声。双爱平安和谐，双爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace. And harmony, love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, Lula, Lula. 相爱平安和谐，相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls. Together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la li. La li lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la. 我爱我心儿灵，我爱春人泪，望你。耳目失声，双爱平安和谐，双爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts. And souls together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Continue to chant two more rounds <coughs> with all your heart. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la li. Lula, lula, 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 li. 我爱春染泪，望灵荣耳目
世生，相爱平安而现，相爱平安而现。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. Lu la, lu la li. Lu la, lu la la li. Lu la, lu la li. Lu la, lu la li. Lula, Hallelujah. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I turn red ling. Wang Ling Rong, her musher song. So I ping on a sea, so I ping on a sea. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls. Together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Keep your eyes closed. Let's bow our heads to those millions of souls that offered us their virtue. Because we chanted on their behalf. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us continue to bow our heads to Namo Amitofu and all of the Buddhas that came. Let us bow our heads to Master Jesus and Mother Mary and all of the holy beings, heaven's animals, heaven's generals and soldiers that came. Let us bow our heads to the Divine Tao Source and Creator for the opportunity. To have received this wisdom and blessings. How, how, how! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I bow my head and offer my deepest gratitude to my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, who is the one that taught me everything that I'm sharing with you. Without a great teacher to bring the wisdom of heaven to earth, there is no opportunity for us to raise. There is no opportunity for us to increase our soul's standing. There is little opportunity for us to clear our spiritual debt. We need an enlightened being that can show us a path, how to get from here to there, and teach the simple practices. <coughs> Cut. Every time I go to teach something very important, the blockages try to occur to allow me to keep me from teaching you the wisdom. So I will repeat. Without a spiritual teacher and father like Dr. and Master Shah on the planet, we would not have these kinds of wisdom and teachings that teach us how to become one as a race, how to work through the blockages that we have in our life. Doesn't matter if it's relationship, finances, business, personal, it's irrelevant. When we chant to serve for others, that is the greatest healing that we can possibly receive. When we ask for forgiveness with authenticity, when we offer forgiveness with authenticity, that is the greatest wisdom. And this is not wisdom that you find in some of the ancient scriptures and ancient teachings in a way that serves us today. It was there, but because it has been 
altered in such a way to be uh, selfish for certain of those in the organized religious teachings, it no longer has the depth of wisdom that was originally intended by the great beings, Master Jesus and beloved Buddha and the other great beings, Krishna and others that have come. So we must have high-level beings who come to the planet to remind us of these high-level wisdoms that those great masters brought. This is why I trust and, and love and believe in this spiritual teacher and father named Master Shah, because he has no ego. He has no ulterior motive, no intention, no organized anything. He simply brings the power of soul, the power of love, and the power of forgiveness. And he teaches us to share it with as many people as possible. So I honor uh, any human being that carries that kind of message. And I'm grateful to be a worldwide representative of this spiritual father. So please continue. Uh, if you have not already signed up for the 21 day challenge, then please let me know. I'm in. You can just state that on here. I'll put your name on the list. That list goes on my altar to support you in this process. Choose one specific area. Uh, that you wish to work on for those 21 days. Do two forgiveness practices twice a day. They do not have to be, uh, you know, over the top special, certain words, nothing like that. Just please forgive me for whatever I have done to others for this specific suffering that I'm having. I sincerely, sincerely apologize. And as I chant for others, please fill my heart and soul because I know I have learned my lessons. And so as you do this practice, Remember that it is not about you and it's not about receiving. It's about giving. You want to use the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. Yes, Teresa, I, I have you uh, already written down, so thank you. Um, I will add you as well, Anu. The source soul song of love, peace, and harmony is much higher in frequency than you and me chanting. It carries this extraordinary feng shui healing frequency. When you put it in your house, when you put it at your office, when you bring it to the car, when you have it on your phone, and you just play it 24-7, you don't have to be singing it or chanting it if, if, if you're doing other things. Just play it. Play it on volume one if, it, if you don't want it to bother anybody. Then what you are doing is you're, you're giving yourself the highest energy field to transform these blockages. It has a soul. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, while I am playing you, while I'm at work, could you please go out and bless all of those souls with this condition that I have? Bless them so they don't have to suffer. That is unconditional service. And then as you can, just chant. But trust me when I say you want this frequency around you, it will help you transform a billion times faster. Okay? Kristen, a uh, beautiful universal servant, has already dropped into the chat boxes. Just scroll back through them and you'll see the links to this song, Love, Peace and Harmony. You'll see links to download it. It's a free song. It's also on YouTube. Um, by the way, I don't know if you know this, but if you're on YouTube and you right click on the video, you can click loop on the video, right click on the video, hit the choice called loop and it will just play over and over and over. So this is how you can transform your major, major blockages. Um, I've really enjoyed watching your guys' comments as I was going through this. <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed, but I went from a, a throat that was odd uh, to a uh, clear voice. That was because of a blessing Jesus gave me while I was chanting. I just went in there and just cleared it out and all of a sudden that was clear. <clears throat> that tends to happen when I do chanting because the frequency comes in and it just clears the blockages. So thank you, Jesus. Um, so please let others know about uh, this daily live stream. I do appreciate you sharing already. Anybody that's new, if you'd like to know more about the daily live stream, look for the uh, subscribe button somewhere on your video there. And um, my Facebook page is under construction. I went through a revamp and it's sort of working, but sort of not. You're welcome to go to it, uh, asoulhealer.com. Uh, also, uh, tomorrow I will be releasing a Christmas special. Um, it will be significant, so I hope you tune in. Um, it's going to be a, a, a large discount off, um, off blessings that you might want to get for yourself or a loved one, okay? So I'll let you know more about that tomorrow. I'm waiting till my <laughs> website's functional again. <laughs> so love you, love you, love you. Make sure you return tomorrow. There are other 15 minutes of Love, Peace, Harmony chanting.
okay? Make sure you do that. And um, thank you for your sharing. See you tomorrow, same time, same place. Bye-bye, everybody.